Hey everybody, welcome to Family Craft Night. I'm Steve Piacenza. And I'm Kathy Fillion, and on today's episode, we're gonna be teaching you four basic embroidery stitches from our new kit, Home Sweet Stitch. Yeah, now this family-friendly kit features all the states in the USA and more. You can create single designs to showcase your family's home state. Or maps that can showcase where you are going or where you have been. You can create appliques like on my hat. You can even stitch your favorite team name. Or you can stitch over a silk screen like this Arizona tea. Love that. Going on a road trip, you can doodle stitch on the car. Perfect on denim. And you can bring two families together with twin hoop art. All these projects are beginner friendly. Teens and tweens will love learning all of this basic embroidery. Yeah, and you know, they're perfect for summer. They're perfect for poolside. Stitching poolside. They're perfect for, for road trips. They're perfect for just hanging out and stitching. Well, let's do it. The Home Sweet Stitch Kit has everything you need to get started in embroidery. Each kit includes fabric, embroidery floss, a needle, and the patterns. You get all 50 states and state names, a map of the United States, 100 icons, four sayings, an alphabet, numbers, and a stitching guide. We are starting with Illinois. First, make a copy of your pattern so you can use it over and over again. You can shrink your pattern tiny, or just a little bit, or you can enlarge it. Press your fabric and use tracing paper to transfer your design to the fabric. Place your fabric in an embroidery hoop, and now you are ready to stitch. This kit comes with plenty of floss. Of course, you can use any floss with these patterns. First, separate your floss into two or three strand sections. Thread your needle and knot the end. This is the straight and back stitch. First, sew a single straight stitch. Working a short distance above the first stitch, bring the needle up from the back and down through the end of the first stitch. Keep on doing this to outline your Illinois shape. Once you are finished, on the back side, tie a knot and trim your floss. The back stitch is great for outlining and for doing letters. Next is the satin stitch. I'm using three strands of floss. A satin stitch is a series of straight stitches that are sewn close together across a design. It's great for filling in a design. With our Illinois embroidery, we created a tattered applique. We attached the applique to a hat using an outline stitch and frayed the edges of the fabric. Now let's learn the outline stitch. Hold your thread to the right of the stitching. Bring the needle down and back up next to the previous stitch. Always stitch to the left of the previous stitches. The outline stitch is great for curves and outlining. The running stitch is super easy. Bring the needle up and back down, then repeat with a space in between the stitches. This stitch is great for marking your map. We created a jeans applique with the Florida embroidery. We freehand stitched the applique to give it a boho look. We used a variety of letters and icons to fill in our denim design. Easy beginner stitching, even I can do it. And don't let him fool you, he actually did do some of this stitching. That's right. You did a great job. Thank you very much. So I hope that you uh, learned a few things about beginner stitching. Those four stitches will get you through any of the projects that you want to make. And be sure to like, share, follow Plaid on their social channels, and uh, show us what you make. Yeah. Tag us. I hope you make a hat. I'd love it, <laughs> And thanks for joining us on Family Craft Night. See you See later. Ya.